Now, uh, this is a very basic one. So in this, it simply says we have an untreated graph of n nodes uh, where every edge is represented by ui, vi and the length. Length is nothing but edge, ui, vi, that edge length is length of i. Now, additionally, I have a given an array called as disappear, which, which tells me that disappear of i, it denotes that at the time when the node i disappears, this disappear of i, the time when the node i disappears from the graph and you won't be able to visit it ever again in future. I have to return and again, um, it just mentioned the very standard basic stuff about graphs that uh, the graph can be disconnected, which is obvious. The graph can contain multiple edges. Again, when I say disconnected, I mean that okay, this is one edge, as you can see, there's a chance. Okay, this one, or let's say there would have been an element three itself, which is altogether disconnected from the entire component of the graph. That's a possible. We can also have multiple edges between the same two nodes. Okay, that's also possible. We have to return the answer array where answer five denotes the minimum units of time required to reach to the node i from the node zero. So, okay, from node zero, I have to tell you the minimum, minimum time needed, minimum units of time needed to reach the node i. From node zero to node zero, node zero to node one, node zero to node two. This is what I have to tell, which is single source. Again, if I take the edges as the distances, then single source is shortest path problem. Simple as simple as that. And that we know is a Dijkstra algorithm. So single source, we have a source of zero. We have to go and find, okay, at every node i, what is the minimum or the shortest distance or the basically the minimum time. Now, ideally, if we would have applied shortest path algorithm, then we could have simply seen, okay, to reach to one, ideally, it would have taken two units of time, right? And then if we would have make our Dijkstra's keep on going again to reach zero, it would have taken zero, zero units of time. And then if we would have keep on doing a Dijkstra's, then we would have known, okay, to reach two, it would have taken three units of time. But you will see the answer is to reach zero. Okay. It is zero to reach one. It is minus one to reach two. It is four. Everything is different. How? Because of the factor they have given, which is disappear array. This disappear array says that at time one, node zero will disappear. At time, at time one, node one will disappear. At time five, node, at time five, node two will disappear. So this is a time when these things will disappear. What I mean by that? Okay, in the very beginning, node zero to node zero. Okay, time is zero. Up till that time, node zero was not disappeared. So we are good. So, okay, for node 0, 0 is the answer. But as soon as you apply Dijkstra's in which you go on to the shortest path, next shortest path, you would have been compelled to go to node 1. But then it, it would have told you, okay, bro, to, to reach 1, the minimum time you would need is 2. But at 1 itself, and then again, you would have said, okay, this time is the minimum time to reach to 1. But at 1 time, it was disappeared. So I reached him again. I choose the shortest path. I chose the short, shortest path, but still I reached on him pretty late. Up till that point, he was already disappeared. So it was not even, I was not even able to visit that node itself. So answer is minus one. Now, if I was not even able to visit it, so I cannot use any edge going from this node onwards. I have to, I cannot go on to any edge going from this node onwards. So I cannot, I, I can never use any edge. Which means my only next option comes is next edge, which is four. I'll use the four. I will reach on to this node two in the time of four. And I also realize, okay, he will disappear at time five, which is okay. Ahead. I have reached prior. So that is the reason to reach node two. My time will be minimum, minimum time will be four itself. Cool. Now you have understood it. Let's take one more example. Uh, you can see to node to reach from node zero to node zero time will be zero. To reach from next, to reach from node 0 to node 1, time will be 2. Node 1 will disappear at time 3. So I'm safe. Time 2. Then this is this is this is the time 2. Then again I will push in the next shortest distance, which is I will push in 3 and 4. Shortest is shorter, shortest distance is so the shortest distance is 3, which means I will be visiting node 2 at the time of 3. And I know he will disappear at time 5. So I know. His distance will be three.
and that's how this we solve it cool again uh, last also you can just simply imagine that you had node 0 to node 1 edge of 1 node 0 to node 0 0 distance like 0 time and you, are, you can also see he will disappear at time 1 okay so he will be reaching as soon as I will reach at node 1 I will take a time of 1 because the time is 1 I will reach at the, at the time of 1 at this node 1 but I know that he will disappear also at time 1 so as soon as I reached on him he disappeared still it disappeared for me so I will take a minus 1 so it will be okay as soon as I reach on to any node and he disappears okay I am done if I reach on to any node and he has already disappeared I am also done if I reach on to any node and he has not disappeared maybe his disappearing time is way ahead then the shortest distance which I have or shortest time which I have right now I am safe I am safe I am safe to take it so we know we will simply apply the extras with a small addition of using this disappear time Again, the temple of Dijkstra's we have already kept always same that we will simply use a Dijkstra's function. Again, from here to here, you will see a simple Dijkstra's function in which we have a priority queue, which will give you, again, this is a min heap, which will give you that, okay, we will contain the distance and source from where and what is the distance? Because in a min heap, we have to grab the minimum distance. Now, source in the very beginning, we have, we will pass in, source we will pass in as 0 because we have to tell from 0 itself, single source from 0 itself, what is the time. Then uh, I will keep on continuing my priority queue. I will grab out the best element, which is the shortest, shortest distance element. I will say this is the, the D is the best distance and the node is the current node for that specific best distance. Now, in the case to not repeat stuff, you have already seen that, um, why it is okay so you have already seen that if the node is visited then you skip it but there is just one more condition i have added that you know that this distance is the best distance you have reached if this if this best distance itself is more than or equal to your disappearing time ha <sighs> you are done bro you are screwed up simply continue if not then go if not then update your distance with the best distance Mark the node as visited because you have visited this node with the best distance possible and then go on to all the neighbors. As I go on to all the neighbors, I will check if it is not visited, I will visit those neighbors. And when I visit the neighbor, I will simply add the edge length in the existing distance so as to incrementally keep on going from single source. Remember, it is from single source. So I have to incrementally keep on going and adding the distance in the existing distance D, D, D. Add it, add it, add it. And that's how I can simply keep on applying my Dijkstra's. So this is the standard template of Dijkstra's for a single source or shortest path problem. Cool. And now coming on to the main function because that's the main case. We have edges, which will say, okay, from U to V with the weight of W. I'll simply make a graph. And then I will have a distance and a visited vector, which my Dijkstra was using. If you remember, uh, I had my distance and visited, visited vector, which, which my Dijkstra was using. So I defined them globally. And this is also my graph adjacency list, which is also global. Now, um, I will simply come on and call my Dijkstra starting from my source location, which is zero. And this is a disappearing vector. I'll pass by address. I'll pass by address. And that's how simply you can solve it in your O of n time. And again, log n time also will come in because of your priority queue. But this is will be the most optimal angle of city for your single source shortest path problem with a slight modification. So that's how you can solve it. Cool. Bye-bye. Take care. I hope it was easy considering we have solved it pretty much. Same problems quite a lot. Bye-bye.